Welcome back to another product review and today we're going to take a look at the art of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Also made a fourth view with you if you celebrate Star Wars Day. And this is a art book for the park. So I would say less spoilers, unless you're concerned about park spoilers, which why not? So spoilers, but it's not like the bad guys, but that was full of spoilers. But anyway, let's get to the book. This is the front, the back, the spine. And if we take this off, we have this beautiful artwork right there. It's very cool. Let's go straight into it. That's cool. Why? Because I like all of this. That's a dangerous part about flying through. The colors are great. It's very cool. All right. The art of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. This is, by the way, Rise of Resistance is bananas. When you're in there, the sense of scale. Ooh, love this. I actually worked on... It's not here. I worked on a commercial for Star Wars. I'll show you when that shows up cool designs. It's really cool when you walk into the park and also love when you walk into it and it's the change from Disneyland to, I don't know, everybody calls it Star Wars Land. I call it Star Wars Land. But there's, you know, there's always music in the park and the music slowly changes into the atmosphere of Star Wars Land, Galaxy's Edge. It's such a great transition. These are really cool, by the way. I always talk about, I want to see some really rough sketches. Well, then the, there you go. It's right there. Love this though. See, to me, when I see something like this, I think about, ooh, would it be cool to animate something within this? Like I oftentimes look at production design, set design, stuff like that as an inspiration for an animation shot where they can maybe walk through certain things, jump off certain stuff. I know that to me is always very inspiring. Yeah, that's the classic, one of the first artworks, I think, they, that they released. Cool, it's awesome. Look at that. That is me after cheat day. These are so cool. Lots of shops, of course. Love shopping there. Cool ship designs, though. Gotta say. Everybody is fully in character when you ask them questions, which is pretty awesome. They walk around the park as well. That's cool. Come on. That's pretty awesome. That's awesome, too. Stand with the resistance. Oh, Alcatraz layout. Alcatraz was the... I don't know, dare I say it, the code name for one of the shows that I worked on as well. I was super lucky in terms of all the shows they got to work on when it comes to Star Wars. That's cool. Yeah, I love when you get into that at the very beginning. And if you're there, there is a screen here, but there's also a screen in the back that shows the backside. And everybody looks this way to look at the action, but there's also cool stuff back there. Definitely check this out. Yeah, when you get into this. Lots of really cool animatronics. You sit in these. They're pretty fast, gotta say. Yeah, in here, there was a commercial showing this off and I did not the actual animation. We did previs and kind of conceptualizing the animation and the, just kind of the shot design. That's cool, I <laughs> love this, uh, for the commercial. It was a lot of fun. That's cool. Pretty tricky when you actually pilot this thing because you have an engineer, you have a pilot, you have a gunner. And uh, they're not equally as intense in terms of paying attention and smashing buttons and stuff like that. But so much fun. But there I say Rise of the Resistance. I prefer that one. It's so cool. I love this here. It's such a cool ride. There is actually something that happens at the end. Spoiler. I'm not going to mention that took me by surprise, which was really fun. Everybody in there did not. I don't know if we're all maybe there for the first time. <laughs> None of us expected it. And it got a big gasp. It's awesome. I love this. It's maybe silly, but I love all these little slight variations of one idea. I love stuff like that. Then you got little notes and how to make it better. So cool. This is why I love art of books. That's cool. <laughs> Me after cheat day. Yeah, there's a room. I think it's not, that's the bar. There's a room that has so many props in it. Oh, so cool. Sorry, I'm keep interrupting, but this is so cool. I love it. It's just a room full of props and it's so fantastic. Helmets and weapons. That's cool. That would be awesome. I'm in there with water. Classic actually shows up in The Mandalorian just recently. Uh, in the Boba Fett. 
one of those looking guys could be a star tours but that had that face look at that oh these are cool designs look at this there's always such imagination in star wars character designs the concepts the production like anything in terms of set design everything's always so cool sometimes dare i say the movies it's almost a bit diluted it's still super cool but sometimes you look at those concepts and you go wow what have that would have been so cool to do it like that but then you have practical reasons lighting reasons cost reasons of course all of that i'm totally aware of that but i animated uh these guys in episode three <laughs> a long time ago that is cute too my little one loves this assembling droids so much fun that's cool also, there's a really cool Galaxy's Edge VR game. I gotta say, big fan of that one. It's also really cool when you're at the park and it's at night. The lighting in it, it's so great. All the little panels that light up, I love this. Yeah, and everywhere you go. I, a lot of times when you stand in line, people want to touch the props to see if they wiggle or something. Wiggle, wiggle. And they're all completely bolted down and like fused and meshed with the rest of the set. So you can't really take any weapons or move helmets around. It's kind of funny. Everybody tries. <gasps> one of my favorite concept pieces. That's an old classic one though. So cool. The thing that I love about this art book is that it's Star Wars land, Galaxy's Edge, right? It's, it's a place. So all of this, because I love set design and just, again, explorations like these for me are just so inspirational in terms of animation. That's cool. So to have a book specifically, or not specifically, but it's primarily about that. I say it is, and then we have creatures. I think that's really cool. That's really cute. See that? That'd be really cute to animate something like this. Big creature opening mouth, yelling something. I'm sure I've seen it before, but it would be just fun. Sometimes you just got to animate something that's fun. It doesn't always have to be for your demo reel or you know, something like, oh, this has to be absolutely fantastic. Just pick something for fun. Oh. I already love this when you have character variations, but I love stuff like that. I don't know why, it just fascinates me when you have all these different costumes. Then I think, oh, that'd be cool to buy. There's also, there's a place past it already where you have kind of a pod racer engine that cooks something. It's kind of like part of the set and you walk around it and then you can get, um, it's almost like, it's not a hot dog, but it's like a pita, something with a sausage, some spicy sauce, some really overpriced sugary drinks that I don't recommend. This, that's the place. I mean, it doesn't quite look like that, but close. And it's so yummy, I have to say. But yeah, we were there for the first time. We thought we got to try those drinks. Why not? Didn't quite look at the price. <laughs> and it was quite expensive. And it was so sugary. It wasn't even that good. These are super cute too. Ooh, cool sleek design goes into the vacation section that just launched talking about pricey but apparently very immersive very cool feel bad for people in their makeup every day yeah there you go classic guy lots of classic characters and that's where we end index acknowledgements one more, one more here into space, darkness, and that's the end. Yes, Boba. There you go. Very cool. Put this back on because I do like this a lot. There you have it. That's your flip through. Very cool. Lots of reference for buildings and just the Star Wars aspect of it. And again, when you're at the park, you have all those different panels, like light up panels. Just everything is so fleshed out. That's what struck me the most when you're at the park, like every single corner is designed and has some form of connection to either good guys, the bad guys, their ship somewhere. Like I said, the music, it's just all so, I hate to say the word immersive because it's kind of overused. I don't know if it's like immersive, but it is really, you switch from one park to the next and it's just that separate world. That's so cool. Maybe it's because I'm a huge Star Wars fan, probably, probably, but it's super, super cool. And if you can wait till the end of the day when it gets all dark and the lights come up, it's so great, really nicely illuminated. Anyway, that's my fan uh, gushing about the park and Star Wars, but happy Star Wars day. Hope this was interesting. Check it out if you can. I don't think this is sold out like the bad guys. I don't know, the recent one that's flooded with messages. It's sold out, I know, I know. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next upload.